How much time do you spend on Twitter every day? Do you have the problem of overusing social media? In this talk, I will present our design approach to address the problem. Hi everyone, I'm Ming-Ri Zhang from the University of Washington, and I'm presenting the work in collaboration with Kai Lukov, Ravina Rao, Amanda Balkan, and Alexis Hineker. For smartphone apps, a common business model is to capture and resell attention. This attention economy leads designers to grab users' attention as much as possible, which, which can lead to technology overuse. Some users successfully make change to their usage habits, but only by taking extreme steps to cut their access. Prior work documents users avoiding social media sites, locking or deactivating their accounts, or deleting apps altogether. Concerned design practitioners and researchers have responded within what we call the screen time paradigm. In this paradigm, the objective is to limit the time users spend on their phones. Yet users reported these tools often indiscriminately block access to needed features, and that reducing screen time is a poor proxy for their actual screen goals. In this research, we explore how to support users' sense of agency following the work from Lukov et al. in 2021. The sense of agency is a feeling of control over actions and their consequences, and it is a fundamental human need and essential thing to live a fulfilling life. A second characteristic of the screen time paradigm is that it relies on external features that apply universally to all apps. In this research, we shift the focus to redesign internal features that might cause the app to be problematic in the first place. Here, we focus on Twitter, one of the most popular social media platforms that allows the user to share short posts and follow other people. Our first research question asks, what existing features influence users' sense of agency on Twitter? We conducted a survey with 129 Twitter users in the U.S. Our survey asked, what are the three things about the mobile app that lead you to feel least or most in control over how you spend your time on Twitter and why? The, this diverging bar chart shows the results. We coded 16 features of Twitter from the responses, and they are ordered according to the frequency mentioned by the respondents. The feature that most participants feel least in control were bots and spam, ads, and the way how their feeds were organized. The features that primarily led users to feel most in control were follow and mute functions, direct messaging, and proactive interactions such as like and retweet. Our second research question asks what internal and external support might promote users' sense of agency on Twitter. We run a design workshop with four experts to brainstorm features. In total, we collected 35 design ideas. We then selected six features for implementation based on their significance and feasibility. We developed an alternative Twitter client, Chirp, as our testbed for those features. Chirp is open sourced on GitHub. It's an Android app, and it supports the full functionalities of using Twitter. We implemented two external features in Chirp. The first one is a usage stats page, where participants could see their usage such as the time or newly consumed tweets. This is a screen time style feature for Chirp. Another external feature is called time limit dialog, where it will track the usage and will show a reminder if it passed a certain threshold, for example, 20 minutes. We also implemented four internal features specifically designed for Twitter's functionalities. The first one is Feed Filter. It's a filter that allows the user to choose what type of information to see, such as replies or retweets. The second feature is a reading progress indicator. It will show a label saying you are all caught up above the feeds that has been consumed last time, acting as a clue for the reading progress. The third feature is called Recommended Tweets Blocker. Without the blocker, the feed will randomly display popular tweets from the trend, similarly to the official Twitter app. The last internal feature is called Custom Lists, where the user could create their own feed list and add those lists to their homepage tabs for faster access. 
The list contains a group of Twitter accounts and can be curated by the user to organize their feed into different modules, such as sports, news, or entertainment. After we developed Chirp, we conducted a deployment study to answer the remaining two research questions. How do the internal and external supports affect user's sense of agency, and what differences do users experience between external and internal supports? We conducted a four-week-long deployment with 31 participants. They will use Chirp that is randomly assigned with a study condition, with the external features on or off, and with internal features on or off. In total, there are four combinations, so each week they will change to a different condition. Before each week, we provide them video and PDF tutorials of the week's feature they might be able to use. And at the end of each week, they will fill out a survey providing their feedback on those features. We also use experience sampling method to show a survey dialog in the app to collect their, to collect their feedback in situ. Here are the results. Participants did not show a significant usage time difference with different conditions. However, on their experience sampling score feedback regarding to their sense of agency, we found that internal supports had a significant effect on higher sense of agency compared to the baseline. We also gathered participants' feedback on each feature. Custom list was reported to have increased the sense of agency because the function helped the participants to better organize their feed and navigate through different contents. And the reading progress indicator, we analyze the browsing time of the feed for the old content uh, with and without indicator shown. And we found that with the indicator, participants spent a lot less time browsing the old contents. They also reported that the feature increased their sense of agency because it acted as a sign for stop instead of encouraging the endless scrolling. Participants reported that the recommended popular tweets undermined their sense of agency as they found the content irrelevant and interrupted. The attitude towards external supports were mixed. Participants appreciate the Participants appreciated the ability to browse their usage history, but mentioned that the time limit dialogue can be sometimes too annoying and undermines their sense of agency as they do not feel like to be told by the app it's time to stop. Interestingly, many participants expressed this feeling that the external supports could be helpful for some other people than their, themselves, such as someone who has a self-control problem. Based on the results, we recommend designers to provide external supports that provides information such as a usage log, rather than intrusive actions to help the user feel in control. On the other way, the results also suggest that we need to design better internal supports as they could provide more tailored experience and support meaningful usage of the app instead of locking out and preventing usage. For more design and evaluation details, please refer to our paper. We open source the Chirp client on GitHub and welcome more people to extend the internal design scheme to other contexts. Thank you.